Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 51 of our Mod Factory Let's Play series. As you can probably notice that uh, all of our steam engines are gone. I went ahead and did a test basically to see if we could go completely solar and no longer have any steam power running um, in the background. And we get to about 8.4 gigajoules left in our accumulator charge, um, so we can totally go full solar now at this point. Um, as you can see, they're not even here anymore. Uh, which is pretty nice, honestly, th thinking that we're uh, self-sufficient like that. So we can probably rip up all this carbon production and just make it into coke production instead. Because we're going to produce carbon um, using our cellulose, and it's not like we use a ton. I mean, we do use quite a bit, but... So now steam is only for our steam cracker and these liquefiers that we no longer need. Do we need it for something else up here? No, that's just a dead pipe, which we can clean up right now. So, in today's episode, I am hoping to go ahead and get into the purified rubrite production, so we can get start getting tungsten. Um, so, to do that, we need some more of these ore refineries, which I went ahead and made a couple off camera, um, just so that we had that running. Um, our robots are going in full swing. I told them to get rid of a couple of those chests that were uh, I forgot to get rid of earlier. So they're going to go ahead and do that for us. I'm um, just help clean up the base a little bit. I, wherever we have concrete, I went ahead and set up a reinforced concrete just so we don't have to worry about that ever. So we can go ahead and make three more of those. So we have concrete bricks, concrete, and then reinforced concrete as well, all being automated. Alrighty, so we have five of them now. So the next thing that we'll want to do after this is probably set up a more efficient rubrite production facility. But until then, we can, go, we can continue on our path that we are currently running. Kind of big. Something like that. Two. Oh, we only went two. Oh, you guys are huge! I can't rotate you, it's just a little annoying, but okay. So this uh, railway station is going to have to be moved. Let's go 2 to 1. 1 to 1 to drop. And I'll go ahead and just set up one side for now. Oh, you guys are facing the wrong way. There we go. Feed you in that way. And of course you're facing the wrong way again. This up. Change your production to the purified. And voila! No, we now have tungsten. Or, I guess, we will have tungsten once that's fully done, but... We want to do that with Bobmonium too. I think you give us uranium. Yeah, we'll want to do that with uh, Bobmonium. Is that important? Nope. Sometimes those are important uh, <laughs> power lines. I got to double check because uh, there isn't a lot of security in our system right now. All right. It's in here. Okay, there it is. I was like, it's in here, but I cannot see it. So go ahead and line up just like the old system or the prior system. You go down like that. You guys don't actually need to be there. Alrighty, you are going to pick up... Hmm, you guys are actually kind of far away. Go two to one. And then you'll drop two to two. Something like that. It's a little funky, but it'll work. And you do butt money. Get you off there. There is our purified butt modium. Just like that, we've swapped. Right, there's no way geodes are getting down here. And there we go, there's uranium in the system. Let's go ahead and set up a fast provider chest for uh, the uranium. 
could make it fit somewhere. Yeah, that's a fine location. Three to one. There should not be that much. You will be for uranium. There we go. Whoops. Accidentally hit the tilt key again. I love, I love uh, the three reach uh, inserters because they look so funny when they're doing their thing. Let's see, what does Juvrite give us for going up to the purified? It also gives us tungsten. Gives us a little bit more copper, which I'm not thrilled about, but more tungsten. I mean, what's that to write home about? Why don't you have more fluorite? Must still be out of uh, geodes. Yeah, we're pretty much out of geodes. Uh, can we make this system so about half are a teal, the other half are red? Teal, there we go. Just because that is uh, most of the geodes that we process. And then you can also request teal geodes. Go 50k. There we go. Go ahead and change these to filter inserters. Probably not. Don't need to extend like that. Although it would be funny to watch them nip whip all the time. You will be for red geodes. You guys are on the far side. You will be for teal geodes which will be on the near side. There we go. We have purple geodes as well. We'll see when, if that becomes an issue. You guys are still running. Honestly, we need more of these guys because we have plenty of uh, float, floats. Get rid of that. Get you guys. Go ahead and do a little manual pickup because we don't have pass fire chests there. We do now though. I think we just need more cargo robots. They're over there work, working pretty hard. Or just upgrade them. Would also be a possibility. Throw you guys in. There we go. Now we're getting our crystal slurry back. Lots of mineralized water. Yep. Perfect. like the ceramics went ahead and uh, filled up. So we might want to go ahead and do the full chain just like we did over with the uh, red and green catalysts over, over here. Or they're just always cycling. Might actually, yeah, let me do that. You up. Make sure you drop on the far side. There you go. You pick up on the close side. Perfect. So, you guys always be rotating. Go ahead and get rid of these ceramic filters. Make some more, actually. We need alumina. Yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> That's on the other side of the bus. We'll go for a little while without that. We'll do that some other time. Radiance, go ahead and get some of this purified stuff out of my inventory. Looks like I don't have any uh, purified babonium, which is fine with me. There we go. Alrighty, so now that we have tungsten, we should probably set up our tungsten processing, and then we can start our rainbow belt. This is the one making tungsten. Yeah. Just enough space to do tungsten here, ship it out that way. Oops. Alright, you guys can whip. Toggle you guys. There you go. Actually, that doesn't make a difference because I'm gonna copy and paste. 
so you guys are not offset properly. Now you guys are. It's more underground belt. Get right over the uh, rubble port, and we're pretty much home free now. The exception of this. <laughs> that monstrosity. Let's see, what do we need to do for tungsten processing? There's powder tungsten. Tungsten oxide. Tungsten acid. Let's see. How do you spell tungsten? Oh, I'm just scrolled. Let's see, we need tungsten plate powder or oxide for all of our recipes. Looks like it's plate. Tungsten gears. Yeah, so we need plate. Which we need tungsten powder mixture. Just cobalt powder and tungsten powder. Or powder tungsten. I don't actually know which one we want yet, so I'm just going to leave it there. Because you, you can go one, but you can't go the other at the same time of like powder and plate, depending. Or the mix. Because you can do tungsten powder or mixed powder. Um, once You can't convert tungsten powder into uh, mixed powder, which is a little annoying. You out of silicone? You're out of silicone, wow. Alrighty, we'll let that fill up a little bit. I think it's time we begin our uh, our rainbow belt. Start moving all of our processes down south. It's going to create a weird little void here, which will be nice because that's where all of our belts are going to need to run. Be able to clean that up all nicely. Let's see. So this is what it's going to be going down down is about that many belts. Let's give it some space. Give the bus space. And then we also need to get and go, go up here. Give us at least a two gap there. There. Something like this. Um, should be enough space. And then we'll just curve here and see what we'll need to do here. We're going to have to cleave out another forest, but not a big deal. Look at them go. Sometimes it's just great just watching the robots do their thing. Got a lot of them too. Looks like we're filling up on copper, which is a little less than desired, but that's okay. Doing over here. Nothing with this stuff. Okay. That's fine. Just want to make sure. Why aren't you running? Just hydrofluorite. Just not making enough mineral sludge. Not enough ceramic filters. No, you have your three. We're not making enough crystal slurry. I have sulfuric acid. Okay. Starting to go down the uh, the rabbit hole of why things aren't working. You're full there. Empty. Why are you guys not running? No sulfur. Okay. Why aren't you running? No sulfuric wastewater. Okay. Which that's set up so that way if it's more than 80%, we'll throw it away, which it's not. Okay because we don't have any bubmonium to produce sulfuric wastewater. It's plausible. 
I think this is where most of our uh, sulfuric wastewater goes. We're not throwing away, are we? Where are you going? Let's connect these guys up because you guys produce it. You just use way more than what we, we produce then? 30. That's 20 units. Yeah, so we're, we're using way more than what we're actually producing. Okay. So we need sulfuric wastewater. Pretty sure we make it in other locations at least. Big rock needs to go eventually. Lots of wood, which is fantastic. Hmm. Got a little bit here, but you're not running very often, honestly. Just because I don't have to eat fish very frequently. <clears throat> Let's see. None there. None here. You use it. It's gold. Hmm. We actually just need to make more sulfuric acid. What are other ways to make sulfur then? Do crush coal with purified water to make coke and liquefiers. Okay. Well, I guess that's how we're gonna make our uh, our coke now. We're not even gonna burn it anymore with crushing it, because we're out of sulfuric wastewater. So all this can go. Uh, we just need purified water and crushed coke. So these will be obsoleted, which I'm pretty sure we can just set up right now, actually, honestly. Break that. Robots, where you at? Break that. Where are you guys? Hello? Do I not have a personal RoboPort anymore? Oh, no. Other robots can't do it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, guys. <laughs> Seems awful. Yeah. We need some liquefiers. Six will do for now. What do I need for this stone brick? Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. We have a ton of construction robots. Dang. Alright, robots, you don't actually need to pick this stuff up. We have this many coming. What happened, guys? You guys all run out of power at the same time? Still daytime. Okay, well, I guess I'll just pick them up myself. You guys can whisk it away. I'm gonna need purified water in here. So you will make... Coke. Wastewater. Yeah, we definitely produce enough coke, so we don't. This set can go away. I say all that can go away too. Which means we can probably put this vertical right here. Save quite a bit of space. Oh, this is going to get ripped up. The purified water right there, actually. So, got to set up our new liquefiers here. Ah, they're off by one. There's the only problem with, uh, Trying to do it by just looking at it and just like guesstimation, and then you're off. There we go. Actually, 
actually need these guys. Don't pick these up. You can pick up everything else. That we need. That's where our crushed coal goes. Is this crushed coal? Why can I throw you in here? Oh well. Oh, is this saline water? It's saline water. Darn. Alright, where is our purified water? Saline. There's purified water. I'm gonna run it down this side of the belts. Should be fine. Or honestly, right here. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll feed it right here. If I didn't have to line it up. Oh well. <clears throat> It's set up late nicely. Let's see, we'll want... Honestly, like, two of these is going to be sufficient, probably. We'll go one to twos. Oh god, those things are pointing in the wrong spot. There's power in. Let's actually have this run the other way, so we can serve a little bit more space. And so we can fit these uh, these guys a little bit nicer in. One to two. One to ones. Go like that, actually. Yeah, it's going to be level twos. I don't care. There's crushed coal. over. A little excessive, but it's out of the way. Which is the more important thing. Uh, we cut power to this area. There we go. Not the wall, though, which is good. Batch. You guys are still working on doing that. Get a little bit of underground. And then you guys are crap to drop one. Just like that. We'll have to toggle half of you. side of the belt. There we go. Wait, this is coal. Go and keep going over there. Where is Coke? It's right here. There we go. Something like that. Talk about you guys. And now we just need to get purified water in here. Alright, we made it past the hard part. And now we just pretty much just throw it straight in. Stone pipe, just so try and get out of our inventory. Here's the purified water. There we go. Don't need all that algae just sitting there. Alright, so you guys are running now. Got our Sulfuric wastewater, which we will pump over and up pretty far, honestly, actually. Alright, let me go ahead and I'm gonna move this room right again for like 
a hundredth time. <laughs> it's like the ugly stepchild that just gets moved all over the time. I see that's just a phrase, I'm... but... <laughs> took out our sodium hydroxide line. I'm okay with picking up a little bit of this rubrite. Can I throw it inside of you? No. Okay. Interesting. Don't need these guys anymore. Just take up inventory space at this point. Looks like we do have a little bit of extra oxygen. No big deal. And we're going to want some storage for the uh, sulfuric wastewater. Go and start piping it over there. the top here. Hmm. This will be interesting how I, uh, how I can actually go through here, actually. It would be way better. So I don't have to run back down here. I almost missed that connection. Move down all the way there and go like, yo, why doesn't this work? Let me actually make it, yeah, let's run it along the same line as everything else. Oh, you did connect. that far. A little bit too hopeful. Connect up these last couple pipes. There we go. go. That'll be uh, sulfuric wastewater going into these guys. Which your big problem is... what? Mineralized purified water. Okay, so we need a red valve, so if it's more than 80% full, uh, we throw it away. There we go, now you guys are running. Which means we're not getting sulfuric acid. Which means we can go ahead and start producing more. Um, though, it's, I think it's a negative return, but that's okay. I don't need this coal in my life. I'll keep the steam engines, because... Our nuclear reactor. Did I build the reactor? No, what do I need? Steel. That's pretty easy to grab. And then we need to put the nuclear reactor somewhere where it's not going to cause us any issues. Reactor. 
There we go. Where's a good spot? Thinking right here. Nothing there. I think it just needs water, basically. Just to cool it. Turrets are firing. Yeah, that's fine. Just big pile of bodies. Actor. Oh, yeah, I already built it. Okay, perfect. Or I just built it. I don't know which one. <laughs> I think right here is an okay spot. So we need heat pipes. Which needs copper. Let me set up command here so that way we can always have copper. I don't normally run out, but... Because of that, I don't even think I have a request or, or a provider chest for that, even. But let's go ahead and try and s do a base setup for uh, the nuclear reactor, because it's been a very long time since I've even looked at a nuclear reactor. Let's see. Heat pipes. I uh, definitely need more than nine. I think I... Somewhere I have copper. Let's see, I think it's 5, 10. I need 20, I think. Oh, that's right, you're a quest or, or a pass provider, so I can pull anything from in here. Which is nice. Let's go ahead and check the power. Still doing phenomenal. Really don't use that much power. Though when our turrets do fire, uh, it, it can spike up to uh, one one gigajoule, which is quite a bit of power. Honestly, it's like the size of a, a city or as much power as a house uses in a year. We need heat exchangers, which we need boiler threes. Be nice if I can spell that correctly. We need invar and brass pipe. So we can technically make invar right now. Um, it just it's a combination of I think steel and steel and what steel and nickel, and we make invar. So we can do that. Um, it's just not set up on the bus yet. So, I think we'll end the episode uh, right here, and next episode I'll do a time lapse of setting up the new, uh, the new mining facility, to, or I guess ore processing facility down here, uh, which is going to take quite a bit of time. Probably going to have pretty lengthy time lapse, honestly. It's going to take a while. All right. Well, if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.